Hi, I'm Alona from Pitcam, and we're sitting here backstage with Ricky from Separate. What's going on? He's going to talk about his head. Oh, yeah. Uh, as you can see, I have both my arms, my hands, my torso, I guess, my neck. I have some on my head. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, my favorite tattoo is either that one on my arm. It's a zombie killing a slut. Uh, it says brains. Or uh, the penis I have on my leg. It's pretty fucking cool, actually. So I, I can, I'm going to do that. Here, you want to hold the mic? It's on my leg. Oh, yeah, I also have my shins done. Big X's because I'm straight edge. There's that one. There's the zombie lamb. That's healing still. And then I got a big zombie penis. And there's a bone in it, so it's a boner. And uh, it says dead fuck. I got that tattoo because uh, whenever I'm mad at my dumbass band members, if they do something that pisses me off, I look at that and I just laugh. So that's why I got that one. Um, I got this other shin, the same type of thing with the X, except, let me pull it up, pants are too. Except that one is more purple than red, I guess. So those two. Um, these were filled in by my friend, like the outlines somebody else did, but these were filled in by my buddy Josh Coelho. Then uh, this was done, and so was this by the same artist named Jay at this uh, in the skin tattoo in Fullerton, California. Then um, my hand and this entire sleeve. I had previous work from a friend and then a, and a dumbass, and uh, I got it all fixed. So my hand, my sleeve, the middle of my throat, and this side of my neck, and my entire torso are all done by Justin Foss from Sacred Gypsy Tattoo in Bakersfield, California. He's like the best person I know. Uh, tattoo wise anyway and uh, most of the stuff on this arm was done by Jude Keller it's getting filled in by my buddy Josh this guy named Tattoo Stu from Colorado did that one Josh did the shoulder cap in the back of it a little it's uh, pretty much it I have this one which goes down pretty far to like a upside down cross right by my junk <laughs> I'm very anti-religious I guess this was done by Miguel from a band called Blind Witness uh, still need to have work on that huh God, yeah, and uh, church. I got it. Yeah, we played at church, and I got it done in the back rooms where none of the people who worked at the church knew it was getting done because they probably wouldn't want that since it's, you know, very <laughs> anti-religious and shit. That's pretty much it. Uh, oh, I got um, I got Jason Voorhees on the back of my neck. I did. I already showed him the cock. Shut up. Shut up. I, what? So I got the Jason done on the back of my neck because I'm a big horror movie fan. It's all I watch. I'm kind of like a, obsessed with them. So I got that. Then I got a SH-55. It's a Sure mic. It's like what Johnny Cash used to use and Hank Williams Jr. and all like the old school badasses right there. It's my favorite. And then I got a bat on this side because um, a friend of mine passed away, a drummer in an old band I was in. He was 19 and he had a specific kind of cancer. It's like a one in a million chance of cancer. So I got the bat scratching his name into my throat. Then I got a candle burning at both ends, and well, that pretty much explains itself. And I got homesick tattooed on my jawline, because I tour all the time. Uh, I have an X on each side of my head, you can't really see him right now. Then I have strength on my, my forehead. Uh, Phil Anselmo from Pantera has strength on his head, and I always thought that was kind of cool. So, and then I have hate read lyrics across my chest, listen, live, listen, learn. And I got brass knuckles on the top of my head, you can't really see him right now. It says remain steadfast, those are also hate read lyrics. So, uh, yeah, I have plans to pretty much get both the sides, my entire back, all my legs. Just haven't gotten around to that yet, I guess. So, yeah, tattoos, fun.